good afternoon to one and all this is the next video in the sequence of videos we are uh, coming across with the internal assessment for the ibdp program and today's topic is about the criterion d which is termed as functionality let's go into it now if you look at the assessment criteria for this this is uh, graded for four points four marks and this is basically a video the criterion d refers to a video generally in the mp4 format which shows the working of your product it uh, and it it also uh, mentions parts of your product which could be expanded and modified in the future as a part of the development of the product and this also must be present in the documentation which will come in criterion e uh, in my next video now what is the criterion d include this is a video as i told you this video must be recorded using a separate device or using screen capture either way is fine this should majorly demonstrate the program working so any kind of errors in it you would probably want to edit that and all the features of your program must be explained <clears throat> whatever you specify in criterion a as part of your success criteria must all be mentioned in here they must all be shown so please make a note of that every specific criteria so success criteria that you mention in criterion a must be shown as working in your video and there is no writing in here there is no word count for this obviously and what about the video the video can only be about 2 to 7 minutes in length it cannot go beyond 7 minutes the examiner is not going to look at your video beyond 7 minutes so please try to make your video shorter than 7 minutes this must show the key features and functionality of your program and before you record your video please make sure that you write your script and uh, also your uh, you keep track of your success criteria and your test plan and the extensibility of your product okay so these things when you make a script of it you will not miss any of these points should all include audible narration that is you have to speak through the video to explain what is happening in there so there are a few software suggestions that you could use screen customatic uh, this is one very handy software Camtasia and Cam Studio. All these are all examples of software that you could use for screen captures. There's something that you need to uh, note very importantly. Moderators just default to watching the video. They actually don't look at your doc, uh, your video, your complete product. They don't run your product. Typically, they they actually watch the video and look at the documentation. So, if in these two things. if there is something that requires their attention that is when they actually go around running your project product otherwise they wouldn't normally open your product and run it so make sure that your video is showing your product working let it not be fishy there so again your complex code has to be uh, there uh, in in it and every complex code bit has to be explained through the video show the code on one side and show the output screen on the other side so that you know it becomes easier for the examiner to look at them thank you